everybody, it's Reagan Sample, real estate agent with Satan Brain Realty here in Longmont. And today I'm talking with Kim Berger, who's the publisher of Living Southwest Longmont. So thanks for taking time to talk to us today, Kim. And I just want to turn it to you and have you tell us about your magazine and all the wonderful info that's in it. Hey, Reagan, thank you so much for having me here. So I have the honor of publishing Living Southwest Longmont, and it really is a joy because we're able to bring people together. We're bringing in businesses and putting them in front of our homeowners and putting them in front of the eyeballs in this area of Longmont. And so I get to do fun little interviews like with uh, Matt and Lynn Lyon and with uh, Dr. Gunders, um, Dr. Desar, who is our dentist in uh, Gun Barrel. And we just have, oh, and <laughs> this month we are featuring uh, Julian Ian. So, it's just a lot of fun and we get to share their story and be a part of that community. And it really is populated by those homeowners. So they share their pictures of their pets and kudos of their kiddos. And we just, you know, they do recipes. It's just all things fun and family friendly and kind of that old fashioned feel. And that's awesome. Well, I know having a chance to talk with you a little bit about the publication and seeing what it is, how it's so focused on neighborhoods. I think it's really awesome because people want to know what's going on in the neighborhood. They want to know about, you know, the new baby or the new job. And it definitely brings more of a tight sense of community together. So I think it's really great. Uh, how did people get involved in it? How do they get this in their mailbox or how do they get information to get involved and be part of it? When you move into the neighborhood, guess what? You'll get a magazine. Uh, and if you sponsor, because you, as a business owner, you will want to be in front of these eyeballs, you can also get a copy as well. I like to visit my sponsors every single month, keep up on their businesses, and yeah. really be an advocate for them in the community as well. For people in these communities, you get to see who is the dentist that's in the shopping center or the who is the person running this store. And it, and it brings you together more to, to shop local and support these small business because you're kind of vested in them. They're part of your neighborhood. Right, yeah. It's mindfulness marketing. It really makes a lot of sense. And we make you the local legend in that local area. So, and, and a lot of our sponsors also are our expert contributors. So they provide content and they're educating and they're informing in their specific industries. So it really brings a lot of value. We've, we've um, asked neighbors in the past, like, what do you love most about the magazine? And 92 point something, don't quote me on that, uh, really love the useful content. And so that's kind of cool too. We don't, if, we don't put just ad after ad after ad after ad. See, and that's useful too. I know I get things in the mail that, like you just pointed out, that it's ad after ad. And if it's something that, if it's the, the person that does your carpet, or if it's the person that's fixing your teeth, or the, the person that you, where you go and get your eye exam done, they're the experts. And the more that they can teach you ahead of that, I'm more inclined to call them when I need an appointment. So if I'm a business owner and I wanna find those people that are local, this seems like a really a really good thing to look into because you get to show people your knowledge versus just saying, come shop here, come shop here. Exactly, and that's what sponsorship is all about, right? It's about giving before getting. It's that go. sense of reciprocity, right? I, I love you, I'm vested in your community, I wanna be a part of this community. Yes, I want you to use my services. Yes, I want you to buy my goods but I'm here first. I think what you pointed out too is a big difference in two different business models where it's transactional, come by here, versus relationship building and adding value first, which is for me, where, what I think I like about it a lot because that's where I identify with my business is how can I help? How can I connect people? What value can I add? And by doing that, I feel like people will say, hey, this guy, Ray, and this is the person I'm gonna wanna go to and talk to about buying or selling a house or even questions about a plumber or a landscaper. And being able to provide that and like your publication and these other sponsors, they're doing that for the neighborhood. So I think it'd be a great opportunity for people that are local businesses to check out this uh, publication, get in touch with Kim, 
and see if it's the right fit for you. If this is the right the right way to get in front of the uh, of your neighbors and your community uh, to support your small business in your neighborhood. So uh, definitely check out the website links that are here. And I would say give Kim a call. She answers her phone. Not everybody picks up phones these days, but Kim does. <laughs> and learn a little bit more because this could be a great opportunity to let people know about your business and and let them know about what you do and more beyond just buy here but why you do what you do so i appreciate it and thanks so much for talking to us today kim and uh i really appreciate it and everybody check this out and check out living southwest longmont